Stephen Howe. Better known as Steve Howe. Yet in saying what he didn't, he said so much to remind me of that cold detachment, which in his book I still find, leaving out flesh on bones, revealing nuts and bolts and bones, piles of bones, awaiting the incinerator of life as the robotic machine vamps strums and sucks and plucks the drooping dead feathers of memory from their roots so that cruel and cold clumps of shoots lick even colder yawning graves to grind us into a history untold.
Through these fields of destruction, baptisms of fire. It was the Wimpy Bar, Holloway Road, where Steve and I, in the late 50s and early 60s, grabbed something to eat, possibly have a smoke, and chat to whomsoever was there. Steve, Howe and I met our first proper girlfriends together, seated in that wimpy bar on Holloway Road near the Nags Head corner. Linda Morgan, daughter of the couple who ran the nearby, very nearby, Morgan School of Dancing, was the girl he met, while Christine Carr was mine. We were all very young. His relationship didn't last awfully long, but at least it was a beginning. Mine was slightly more durable. However, times were changing, and that too petered out eventually. He wrote in his autobiography, We once entered a disused cinema and played various games amid the dust and dead pigeons. It got kind of scary and I eventually escaped through a door that led nowhere, unless you could scale ten feet walls, topped with broken glass. As this was the only way out, that's what I did. I just went at it, commando style, and straddled the walls with my hands and feet, then leaped down the other side to freedom. In the context of how his account appears in the autobiography, one imagines he is still junior school age. He follows the paragraph with the words, by the time I was 10 years old, intimating that he wasn't yet that. But he was at least three or more years older than that. I ought to know because I was present during that eerie incident at the Marlborough Theatre as were a group of others whom I identify by name, along with Steve, of course, in a concise guide on the malign supernatural that was published in 1997. Indeed, there was more than one visit to the Marlborough Theatre. And below is a picture taken with the exception of the person on the far left, 
of some of those who went there. As you can see, Stephen on the far right is rather more than 10 years of age or 9 years of age. Next to him is Dennis Crawford and of course the ubiquitous Welch. The Marlborough Theatre, as it appeared at the time, Steve Howe and a group of others, myself included, entered the building to explore. Steve was terrified by the experience and took a very long time to recover from it. Though he mentions being there, he makes no mention of anyone else who accompanied him. <laughs> 